Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the light. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. What is that outfit? As suspected, well, anyway, you're not security won't you're allow you on board in your current outfit. We should avoid confrontation and look for another way in. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. put on his clothes. That's a first. Might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. him anytime soon.
This particular Hi. uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just act normal. You're in. Well done, Initiate. Right, now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. Hey, lock's not working, but it's occupado. Capiche? Bernie likes musicals. Hmm. Have you tried this texting thing? It's really quite addictive. Find another spot, buddy. This is taken, okay? What do you say? Are you coming? Yeah, thanks. Uh, I'll take a double. Oh, never mind. Huh. You don't waste any time, do you? Eh, I suppose on a boat like this. Sure I've seen that you. is your target, this Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. Hey, you. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. Hey, you! Cabins are all clear. You have been compromised. Quickly, try and lose them and change your disguise. Target is stood down. We're taking. Pacify the shit. Target's engaged in a fist fight. You're way out of your league. Target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, 
Try and find a way to blend in. Everyone's broken too. I swear to God, Kalista. I think Back technology already? hates me. Buddy, it's a sign, Making Calvin. us look bad. You're the Chew finest your food, people. Why don't Blending in, I see. Well done, Initiate. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit. To get out of the game while you still can. The sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please, uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Hey, sailor boy! Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to be disturbed. Try sneaking round the back. No sailors, please. So you talked him in yet? Yeah? What did he say? That's most impressive. People get what they pay for in those throwing Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Well, uh, not just a reactor. Almost there. It appears ahead of its time. Maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. You gotta go around those. I, I don't mean to be a boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become king of. Well, I'm looking for you. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Glass cutter. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. I have to tell you, I. I had you pegged as a much more organized person, so I. Mr. Ritter. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. Mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. 
at your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. And a good day to you, sir. with so much love and care. It's okay. If this is what Mr. Ritter would not look like, I wouldn't mind doing that.
him too. I swear to God, Kalista. I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has Back ever already? seen. But things are Bloody. changing. Making this us is look the bad. universe's way Chew of your telling food, you to quit. <laughs> to get out of the game while you still can. The sparrow cannot die. You're not a hey. hero, out, Calvin. Man. They don't exist. <laughs> not with that attitude, they don't. I'm not sure I've seen you before. Well, this guy is something else. Whose boyfriend is this, huh? Hey, you. You hearing impaired? Not a man of simple taste, that Calvin Ritter. Saw this painting? An original Gorka? Thing Get is, I could have sworn it. it was stolen from the Stuyvesant's private collection in Boston a couple of years back. Cabins are all clear. You should report to the head. Oh, that's cute. The whole officer and a gentleman thing. Not gonna get you through here, though. Sorry, move on.
Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA... Fabulous, isn't it? Oh, it's such an eye for detail. Technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. Back already? The finest well, the world has ever seen. Us... Look back. Things are changing. Chew your food this is I'm the back. universe's <laughs> way of telling you to quit. And to get out of the game while you still can. The sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. <laughs> not with that attitude, they don't. Not a man of simple taste, that Calvin Ritter. <gasps> Saw this painting. <gasps>
Glad to see. He's back. Once again, great work initiative. This exercise is available for as long as you need. When you are ready to advance, you have only to let us know. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. So, Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm. That might just work.
clear. You like getting high? Yeah? Well, stop it. You're acting... What the hell are you do, you moron? Stop right there. Hands in... The ball! Go for his balls! <laughs> what are you waiting for? Shoot him! out the safety protocol for the jet. Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, we really have to do this, all things considered. We're putting a pasty faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kinda think we do. I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. So. Jasper Knight is leaving Cuba on a Soviet fighter jet, but first he needs to test the jet's safety features. Huh. Say you could somehow tamper with the ejector seat mechanism. You could presumably get Knight to trigger his own demise. Hmm. That might just work. I think I heard something. Moving in to see what? Anyone here? special KGB training in Siberia will do to you. They say he hunts tigers with a bow and arrow. Come on. Seriously. They even say he works directly for Janice. Takes orders from nobody else. Yeah. I know. The guy's a real killing machine. We're lucky he's on our team. I'll drink to that, comrade. Yeah. 
you. Drop the bot. Stand still. Do not move a muscle. Man, target. Hey, nice and easy and no sudden moves. I will... time before Langley catches up with them. If I was Knight, I'd be long gone. That was the plan. Then Knight pulls a fast one. Now he wants his girlfriend to go with him across the curtain. Naturally, Kremlin says no. Wasn't part of the agreement. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the U.S. Documents that'll leak into the wrong hands. Okay, he said he'd been filled and ready to take off. Good work. Are we clear to go over the safety protocol? Yeah, hey, yeah. Go ahead. I disabled the ejector sheet. And I have nothing to report from my current location. Over. You, bring me those projection slides from the reception, and be quick about it.
Right. Now to set the trap. The ejector seat mechanism has been disabled. You may need a tool to re-enable it. Well done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, I snuck a peek, so shoot me. They might just do that. Those are military secrets. Uh, a bunch of projector slides, travel route or something. Pretty dull, really. Well, there's a soldier coming by to fetch him, so stay clear, okay? Friendly advice. All right, I hear you. The slides depicting Knight's escape route from Cuba to his new home in the Soviet Union are ready for pickup at the reception. Desk security expect a soldier to fetch the slides, whereupon the KGB officer and Knight will likely retreat to the upstairs office. Ah, I was wondering when you'd be stopping by. Right there on the counter. Carry on. Good thinking, Initiate. This should keep Knight's attention for a while. Good grief. You people don't piss about, do you? It's not the Concord, but it'll do the trick. And my Sharon? Special extraction. We launch her into space, then parachute her down from the stratosphere with a lifeboat and a pair of snowshoes. A little luck, she'll reach Mermisk in a couple of months. And she runs into theirs. Oh. What? <laughs> we'll put her on a plane. Jesus, Knight. You're supposed to be smart. Anyway. That is if Janice agrees to your terms. That's a big if. He... He will see things my way. Now, give me a moment. I need to learn this plan by heart.
Hey, who the hell are you? You there? Excuse me. Hey. Hey, I got eyes on him right there. That's it. Good thinking, Initiate. This should keep Knight's attention for a while.
Feel yourself, damn you. Make no mistake, Ambassador, I will destroy. Target down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. 
He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind. No name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant's security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Thank you. 
Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. And with newly appointed head designer Sebastian Sato at the helm, tonight's show should prove no exception. Sato, who has been hailed as one of the boldest young designers of his generation, surprised the fashion world earlier this year when he accepted the position as head designer for Sanguine, a house usually associated more with continuity than innovation. Whether Sato is No, you see, you're mistaking fashion and the style. Style is like a talent. You either have it or you don't. Fashion is just, just an illusion of the masses based on the false promise that style is something you can buy. Everyone wants to work with fashion. It's, it's just something you do. Even if I'm only a listener to it, there's a million kids out there who need their own grandmothers for a shot of And do it. Yet you're way out here talking to me. The guy who wears white teeth and cargo pants when he's off doing I, my brother, father, and I, of course. I've always got comfortable. <laughs> yeah, my boss is like that. Funny how all the jobs are Understand. This car is a prototype. I wouldn't feel comfortable with anyone else driving it, least of all some car park. Sorry, sir. It's regulations. I assure you, our staff will take excellent care of your vehicle. Otherwise, you'll need to find a public space. This is preposterous! I can't Do you have any idea who I am? Not a clue, sir. A famous bigwig like you. I'd say somebody's bound to. Love to the gospel. Sir, I think I'd bite you down a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we will see about this. Second of all, you've been dead for 10 years. Okay, I see your point. Mm -hmm. So, this Novikov guy. I read somewhere he used to be some kind of gangster. It's been said, just not very loudly. But, uh, yeah, fun. celebrated like a rock star. 
Why don't people care? Because it's easier not to. For the same reason you condemn the idea of cheap third world soon. labor, but still buy t-shirts made class. in Bangladesh for only 10 bucks a pop. Okay, Mr. Bond. I'm so afraid we do this now? is off limits. Even to you, so uh, we'll find a martini shaken down the church somewhere else, okay? Step right in, sir. Enjoy your evening. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of Iago. Make sure Quite the resume. There's someone we would like you to meet. No. Um, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman. Urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. Yes, sir. Intel. Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, do you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you flush. How about that? Oh, what can I huh? Well, I can't. One simple phone call. Remember? No, no, no. My name on the bill. No good to you, just credit it. Nice try, Sebastian. Very clever. But I don't do compromises. on that stage. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what, what it is, it just seems, everything just seems off. I just don't think Sato is about the fashion anymore. I don't know. It makes me sad, but I think he just totally sold out to say, hey, I hate to burst your bubble, but you look like a real jerk off. Don't hurt me! Ah. You hear that? Or what? Don't be caution.
need your cooperation. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Zilch. Okay, we're in the clear, boys. The whip ran away. If you played for his man, he's petty or something. Pretty boy, take your color set and go paint some faces somewhere else. You're not coming through here. you man do do I know you
Yeah, I know. Over there! Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again, where were we supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. Up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. It won't take a second. Appreciate it.
<laughs> well, at least this line looks like real clothes. That intestines theme show I did with Sato last year.
nice on that. You watch that curtain. Remember what we discussed here. Okay, no need to hide. I won't bite you. Jesus, where are my Peking duck rolls? I had them airlifted in from Lestrade in London, for God's sake. The least you idiots can do is serve the damn things. Y uh, y yes, yes, sir, Mr. Novikov. Right away. What did I ever do to him? I don't choose the serving order. You just get it. He's another rich crack with an inflated ego. Those are the job. I knew our nameless friend would come. This, this worries me. I mean, who is this guy? What kind of man enters a heavily guarded building, kills an FSB section, and sets him up as a U.S. spy without even breaking sweat? And he knew all about Yago, using models as Trojan horses, everything. Let's just say the thing. Still, the whole dossier. Some price for a day for it. Well, I'll be damned. You and Dahlia actually agree. Don't mind. I'd 
like a little privacy here. Thank you. Hello to you, hunk of a man. In the flesh, I, I, I. Looks like hell finally has frozen. I should hope not, Victor. I know how you like it hot. <laughs> no, thank you. I prefer a crab. I just wanted to say this to your face. You're finished, Victor. The ground is slipping. I've seen the case, camera. Welcome to Paris, 47. Cecile, I'm standing outside Palais de Valeska, hosting the Sanguine Fall Fashion Show. This 
impressive structure is a perfect metaphor for the Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. Uh, no harm done. That is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguin and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. So thin looking. Slim, Daniel. Not thin. Lean and strong and Still no answer. Answer. And ready for Mother. Oh my god. They, they know. They, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught Haley and we're next. It was a mistake to come here and rub Novikov's nose in it, Valerie. Please. Please, let's just leave right now, please. No, 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 no. Victor and I are going to negotiate. Oh my god, what are you talking about? Negotiate about what? Valerie, you've been trying to discredit him for years, and now? Showstopper's going under, Liza. <sighs> what can I say? It's all about the blogs now. Blackmail Victor, and we save the magazine. It's not pretty, I know, but... <sighs> Look, we still need solid proof that Victor and Margolis are in it together. And if Haley's been caught, Liza, I need you to get up to that auction and finish the job. Me? No, I, I can't. Hillary, you can't ask me to do that. I can, Liza, and you will. We've got 200 jobs on the line. If not for me, do it for them. Oh, God damn it. Atta girl. Here, this will get you inside. Your cover story is as follows. You represent the Van Orton Tobacco Company, looking for... A way to discredit key members of the National Cancer Coalition. Just get me some evidence and then get the hell out. You can do this, Liza. I trust you. Now get going before we lose our shot. Trespassing in a restricted Stay area. Here just in case. Leave it to me. Hey, you, are you deaf? Well, you are not complying with my order. You need to arrest me. You're going to insight. Honest is not to cost me. Why? You're a deaf. That way. You're a free fight. You gotta get out of here. Just go. Just go. I'm with you.
Welcome to Paris 47. Is Victor Novikov, head of Sanguine and ringleader of the Argo. Quite the resume. According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance.
not so much. And then there was the year before with the straight jacket. Yeah, I think you look good just about anything. over.
Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, yes? We're kind of in the middle of something here, would you mind? Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Yes, ciao. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing, Helmut. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, uh, you're watching the live feed. No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. It might take a while. Don't ask. <laughs> of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look. Both know that I'm past my prime. There's no way but down, Dan. And it's not like I've been an ascetic here. But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. A lot of startup cash, actually. And I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm, I'm thinking facial products. Uh, maybe underwear? Anyway, I gotta go, Dan. I'll see you in Cali, okay? All right, yeah, ciao. Well, maybe it's better this way. You don't want to end up like Enrique Santiago. Crow's feet on the podium. <laughs> no, thank you.
<sighs> Unbelievable. This could be my last show. And it feels like only yesterday. supposed to meet. Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. Sit back and relax, we won't take a second. Appreciate it. What? You 
rock, Helmut. Mr. Kruger, sir. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself. Helmut Kruger. Wow, you're handsome. Like a pretty girl. Mr. Jordan Cross. Treat. Ladies and gentlemen, an unexplained incident in the entertainment industry of India. Helmut. Mr. Kruger. Access to the auction and a private what? audience with Dahlia Margolis. Yes. Nicely Love done, 47. Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show. So Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York. Seek out Jessica and... Do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO Chel... Really, I... Hey! Victor Novikov is next. Further bids? Very well. Sold and moving on. Smell good, Mr. Kruger. The next article for sale. A sudden power Mr. Kruger! Helmut Kruger. Wow.
that one. I should hope not, Victor. I know how you like it hot. <laughs> oh, after you. No, thank you. I prefer a crowd. I just wanted to say this to your face. You're finished, Victor. Ground is slipping. I've seen the case Kamarov and the FSB are building against you in Moscow. Profiteering, insider trading, quite the page turn. I see. Well, I hate to rain on your parade, dear Valerie, but... I also know about the VIP. What's really good for you? How exciting. If only I had time to listen to your crackpot theories, Valerie. But, alas, I have a show to run. To be continued.
Thank you. You are too, really too kind. I have been told that these are my most accessible designs yet. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cut. No, 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 no. The themes I've explored here are perhaps my darkest yet. I've explored feelings of powerlessness, duress, coercion, the notion that free will is only an illusion, that we are all controlled by sinister forces cynically preying on our vices and weaknesses. <laughs> like the pleasant design suggests, we put on a brave face. A mask of normality. To make us appear happy. Successful. And above all, in control. But deep down, who really is? Huh? Well, thank you. And good night. Despite St. Clair making threats and Sato having a meltdown, I'd say the show is a big success. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could have gone a hell of a lot worse, sir. Very well done. So, you plan to buy off St. Clair or go the other way? All in good time. For now, we celebrate. Jump. Sora, you're gonna get away with this! Oh, my God. I need some help, please. Dispatch, I'm relax. 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 Take it easy, friend. being a nuisance to everyone. We need to stop him. First, I thought he actually was Helmut Kruger. I understand. Stay alert, guys. Bandit is still around. Target is surrendering. Securing target. You got a big fight! Okay. I'll take care of it. Don't open up! Give yourself up! You'll get a chance! Ah, I need back! 
Why are you waving that around? You got a safety catch on that? Hey, who the hell are you? Sir, I am talking to you. Are you not listening? Enough of this. Not my problem anyway. How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for.
Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. up in Sapienza, Rich's family on the coast. Come on, Dante, just do this for me. Those flowers have to be delivered today, and Mr. Caruso is a loyal customer. If we lose his business, the boss will fire me for sure. Come on. Today is the anniversary of Isabella Caruso's death. Silvio Caruso will be visiting her grave and has ordered a fresh bouquet of flowers. His visit would be a good time to catch him alone. That is, provided the flowers ever arrive. Fine, fine, forget it. I'll manage somehow. Wouldn't want to be a bother. Yeah, I know I gotta tell her about the accident, but just... I'm working on my story. Yeah. 
gas later. Flower delivery for uh, Silvio Caruso. This is just standard procedure. We're all friends here. Hey, why are you carrying that? Hey, what the hell is that? Stop what you're doing right now. I need some help here. Sir, you, hey, you are gonna ah! hands over your head. Short bird. No, come on. Thank you.
got barcodes on the back of our heads. Thank you. 